Welcome back. We want to look at, at uh, developing some models to estimate the relationship between the demand and price. And we're going to do this in several parts. And so in this first part, we're going to th fit uh, three different types of, of models. We're going to, to fit a, a linear model, a power model, and an exponential model to a set of data and to estimate the coefficients for that model. And you can see here on the screen a, a little explanation about what each type of model uh, does. You'll also see a, a representation of that model when we uh, uh, fit that model using the, uh, the trend line feature in Excel. So let's start by creating a scatter diagram. So we just highlight the data insert scatter uh, and so you can see the relationship of, uh, of the data between the, the price on the horizontal and the demand on the vertical. Let's change the x-axis just a little bit maybe starting at 250 okay now we got a little better uh, look at the data. Now to use the trend line feature we just select the data uh, right mouse and add trend line. Now we're going to do three of these so we'll just go through one at a time and record the results and then do the second and then the third one. We're going to start with a linear trend line. A little picture gives us an idea of the shape of that type of uh, model and we want to display the equation on the chart and then we just close and then we're left with that model if we select that text box and go to the home ribbon we can increase the, the font size of that okay let's just uh, copy and paste these coefficients uh, down into our, our worksheet. I'm going to just start by pasting uh, in both places and then we'll just delete what we don't need. So our intercept is 21.131 and our slope And then it's a minus 35.46. Uh, we'll later show how to use these uh, model coefficients and make a prediction uh, based on our model. Let's now go to the second one, which is a power curve. Again, I'm going to just select the data, right mouse, add trend line. So you can see power curve here. Display the equation on the chart close and now this is my power curve let's uh, increase the, the font size a little bit on that uh, so a little bit better uh, view of what's going on but we need to change the, the formatting if I were to uh, select that box and right mouse and format the trend line label. Let's tell we want a number. And set it four decimal places and close. Okay, now we're able to, to get a better representation. Let's again just just copy this. Let's say to, to here and then we need to just change that font size so so this part is our constant this part raised to the power raised to x to that power that's our, our exponent uh, so let's um, just copy Really just just cut 
that exponent. I'll eliminate the x. So there's our constant. We'll come back to and then paste that exponent. Constant here. We'll just increase the width. All right, so here's the constant and the exponent for the power. You can see that representation right here. So we're, we're estimating demand based on price. So the demand is y. Price is x. So here's our constant a and our exponent, the, the power b. Okay, let's do one more estimation that's using the exponential. I'm going to uh, just delete these so that it'll get in the way of our next step. So again, just select a point, right mouse, add trend line, uh, exponential. Display the equation, close, Let's move it where we can see it, and maybe increase the font size some. Uh, let's just copy that. Uh, say down here, if we can get to it, and then let's let's just cut that uh, constant and paste it here. And then let's go back and uh, cut the exponent and paste it here. Okay, so we now have fit three different kinds of models to this. Uh, our next step is to use uh, our estimates of constant, exponent, or, or intercept and slope in a model and estimate what we predict the uh, demand would be for the price using this model. And we'll do that next time. See you then.